on many trips. This is what makes the journey worthwhile. I'm always amazed that when I'm just at the airports waiting to pick up someone that I know, uh, just seeing so many different people uh, being gathered in one single place for so many different reasons. It is these moments that Paul Belliando cannot wait to make happen. My passion has always been aviation. I knew from the age of five years old that I want to be a pilot. He's a student at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Daytona Beach, Florida. One of the top places to learn if your dream is to fly. A passion the pandemic grounded for many. At the beginning, I'm not going to lie, it was a little bit disheartening. It was like, wow, I worked really hard to get this point, and it's almost like kind of at a standstill. Last summer, Bloomberg reported 400,000 jobs had been lost at airlines worldwide. But now it appears the industry is moving beyond those turbulent times. Getting back to doing what they were born to do. Uh, you know, it's an exciting time for them. Embry-Riddle professor Kenneth Burns says they have programs that provide pilots to nearly every major airline. Companies I'm talking to looking at 500 pilots between now and December. Along with those in the cockpit, airlines are looking to fill positions to meet the demand of an industry seeing travelers again. Over the next decade, it's projected the amount of flight attendants will increase by more than 20,000. Jobs where the median pay is about $60,000 a year. I know a lot of people were a bit pessimistic, but I always kept a positive attitude. I knew like everything that COVID was temporary. Beyond coronavirus, a wave of retirements is expected to boost the demand. Obviously, you don't want people to retire out, but at the same time, it kind of brings like a new wave, new generation of pilots and everything too. Travel has yet to fully get back to where it was before the pandemic. But you can see this industry gaining its power again, not just by the long lines, but the arrivals. Now that life for many isn't at as much of a distance. And I think it's kind of magical in some sense that aviation brings everyone together and allows everyone to kind of go do different things. In one single flight, there are so many people doing different things.